away in a corner of the National Sports Centre in Crystal Palace Park is the home of the Crystal Palace Radio Controlled Car Club. Today they're practicing with one-fifth scale models and their drivers are in it for the excitement. When you're in the moment, um, I don't know if you've raced yourself, but um, it's like an adrenaline, adrenaline rush. You're not physically in the car, but you're still doing the exact same controls. You're steering, you're braking, you're accelerating. So this is an FG530 four-wheel drive. We've got a 26cc Zenoa engine. Bit of unleaded out the petrol garage with some two-stroke mixed with it. The adrenaline starts going a little bit and you get that buzz and, and it's as if you are actually in the car. The drivers go to great lengths to get a competitive edge, using the same techniques as professional motor racers. They're tyre warmers. Um, they'll generate a bit of heat in the tyre, so it'll give the car a lot more grip. And here's another method of warming up the tyres. In a way, these guys are keeping a tradition going here in Crystal Palace. Because if you have a look just over here, that is their racetrack. But over here, this straight bit of road, that is the original Crystal Palace racing track, operational from 1927 to 1974. They're away, 20 of the world's best on a 32-mile bat for the final of the Imperial Trophy and a little matter of 150 pounds. But if you think I'm going to shout over that roar, think again. So we had from Formula One cars right up to like old Escorts, Granadas, Cortinas, everything used to race here back in the day. It was known as a racetrack. It's a new day and the club are running the first ever six-hour-long endurance race. That might sound like hard work, but they're enjoying every minute. Oh yeah, it's a buzz. Like, if, you, if you can't do it in a real car, the next thing is doing a motor car. And first place, Team Suzuka. Vince Rogers, BBC London.